Hi right, YouTube, today we're going to be installing this into this. Okay, so in the box we have a Wi-Fi card. Um, there's the user guide, the actual card is in there. We'll have a look at what else is included in the box. There is a USB header cable which connects to the device and I'll explain that in just a moment. We have a small form factor bracket here so you can put it into a lower height machine. We also have a couple of screws, a black one and a silver one, depending on your case to fit. And we have two antennas and a micro CD or DVD with the drivers, which hopefully we shouldn't need anyway. If we have a closer look at the actual card itself, here we can see that it is a Wi-Fi 802.11 AC slash AX and it also has Bluetooth 4.2 and to enable the Bluetooth 4.2 that little header connector goes into there and the other bit goes onto your motherboard and that's pretty much it. So without further ado I'm going to get the side off my PC case and uh, start getting it installed. Okay, so with the machine unplugged, we've got it on its side and the glass side panel taken off. First of all, what I need to do is remove the graphics card because as this is a micro ATX case, um, there is literally room just here for one slot and that's where the card's going to go. Unfortunately, this is a motherboard that doesn't have Wi-Fi built in. So we have to add it. And the reason why I'm adding Wi-Fi to this PC is, uh, this is my own personal PC, by the way. Um, before I moved a few months ago, um, I was in the same room as the router, so I just ran an ethernet cable. Uh, now my office space is the other side of the house, so I need Wi-Fi. And because I only pretty much use this PC to do anything Windows orientated that I can't do on an iMac, and also just to play World of Warcraft. Um, it hasn't been out the box. Right, so now you can see down here, we do have um, the slot exposed there where we're gonna fit this. So first of all, I just need to gently bend this plate and remove it from the case. Try not to damage any of the capacitors down there. So the specs of this machine, just in case you're interested, it's not a high powered machine by any means. It is a Ryzen 5 3600. It's on a gigabyte board, B550M S2H. So it will support 5000 series processors if I wish to upgrade. Uh, the RAM is 3600 megahertz. Corsair, I think it's Vengeance Pro RGB. And the graphics card is only a three gig GTX 1060, which is all I need really to play Warcraft at 1080p. But I did upgrade the processor cooler uh, to the bigger Wraith Prism, just to keep it a little bit cooler than it normally would be with a standard cooler. Okay, so what I've just quickly done is I've curled up the cable here, the USB cable for the Bluetooth attachment. Um, so that's ready to go in and it's not all flapping about because there's not a lot of room to move once it's in. So we just plug that into the back of the card like so. We can drop the card in like so. And then we can just plug this cable straight onto the USB header, which is just down there. And that's that all tucked in out the way. Next up, we just grab the black screw that came with, and we can just screw that into here to hold the card into place. Reinstall the graphics card and power back on. Okay, so finally, all we need to do now is just screw the antennas into the back of the card, like so. Nice and simple, and then just orientate them in a kind of uprightish 
position where it's not going to interfere with the HDMI cable for the monitor, which goes in there. And there we have it. Okay, so down on the desktop here, we have no internet connection. If we click on that there, we now have wireless connections available. So I'll click on that, join the Wi-Fi, and no doubt it's gonna jump into life and install a load of updates. Okay, folks, so there we go. We are connected to the internet, and as you can see, the Wi-Fi signal is now through the roof, so it's obviously doing all the updates that it hasn't done for approximately four months. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you do wish to purchase this Wi-Fi card or any of the other parts that make up this computer, I'll provide links in the description below. We can get them from Amazon. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.